Hey out there everybody, so um, I'm Patrick from Patrick JMT and uh, got to come out here to LA to the YouTube, they're having a YouTube convention and with a bunch of educators, so got to see my good friends here, Paul Anderson and Tyler DeWitt and right. um, you know we were hanging out yesterday just chit chatting and uh, just kind of talking about comments and sort of our experiences with making videos and you know, we were kind of talking about common comments that we like and we don't like, or sort of misperceptions, I guess. Um, and one of the things we talked about, one of the things I always try to correct is that people are always like, man, math must have been just so easy for you and you didn't have to try or think about it. And, um, you know, it's almost school time again. So I just wanted to quickly share sort of my experiences real quick. And one was that it was really hard for me. Um, you know, arithmetic, algebra, I went through pretty pretty quickly didn't have a lot of trouble but after that I hit a wall you know um, I had to drop calculus in college my first semester I went back and had to start at pre-cal um, it wasn't fun but um you know it was very challenging to me and I think a large part of the reason that I ended up being somewhat successful is that I was spending you know 20 to 30 hours a week studying for this stuff and it got really hard and I remember one comment that I always think about because originally I was interested in physics and I thought man that would be cool to do and I was taking this class and um, it was definitely a low-level class and I went to talk to the professor and I was all excited and he was just like well if you're taking this class there's no way you're cut out for getting a <laughs> physics degree because right. it was so low level and I thought well that sucks that wasn't very <laughs> encouraging so uh, so I couldn't get a physics degree but at least I was able to get a math degree you know so um, so I guess the moral of the story is you know from the outside looking in it may look effortless but that's because you're seeing the end product of a lot of hard work and uh, I think Paul and Tyler had similar experiences yeah I I make science videos Tyler makes science videos and and for me, my science experience was awful. I went to, I was always smart in high school and I didn't study much, then went to college and grades started to drop and yeah, I got low grades in science and I was really interested in it. And I really had to, like you said, turn up the game of, I'm gonna have to really work a ton. And I think for us to get together here at this conference and I think that the one thing that we all share is we just love helping kids out there and I think one reason that we do that is it resonates with us. Like, we all struggled in school. I had big moments of self-doubt. I'm like, I'm yeah, not cut out for seriously. this. seriously. But it's, I think it's what kind of ties us together. We want to make it understandable, and we want to help you guys get over that hump. Because once you figure out you're in control of your learning and, and, and you're in control of making an understanding of it, I hope that we're helping you out, but don't feel like it was easy for anybody. And don't get discouraged by bad teachers, you're gonna have them. So right. you can either say, well, you know, you can protest and then give up. You, you, you have to take ownership of your, you know, what you're doing, so stay focused and don't let people, you know, take you off course. Absolutely, you know, I, I make chemistry videos and people always think that I must know everything about chemistry and I must always have been good at it, and that's not true at all. My very first chemistry test in college, I remember at the beginning of the class when the professor gave it back, he said, okay, so this was the highest score, and he gives that number, and then he's like, and this is the lowest score in the class. And he hands them all back, and guess who got the lowest score? I mean, there were like 300 people in the class, and of all of those people, I, don't I had, no, it's seriously, it's seriously <laughs> true. Of the, of the 300 people in the class, I had the distinction of having the absolute lowest grade on that, on that first test. And, and you know what? In college, maybe I shouldn't even be saying this, but in college, I never got a grade in a chemistry class above a B. But I was, I was really, really interested in it. And I kept studying and I kept working hard. And that experience with chemistry in college showed me that, that you know, you, you, you can't just sit back. And you gotta, you gotta learn stuff for yourself. And that's why I wanna make videos, to, to, help, people, to help people learn and, and understand the material the, the way I, I finally was able to. Right, and the cool thing about this is meeting people who are like-minded and also, we got to see Patrick JMT's face before almost Absol anybody. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it <laughs> yeah. beautiful? And it is. I think <laughs> it's something that it does shine through on YouTube. Well, I mean, these guys really do care about the kids who are watching their videos. And so, uh, yeah, for me, it's been really fun. Yeah, awesome. so, you know, just, um, just realize, you know, you, you may feel like when you're watching our stuff, like, I can't do that or I can't relate to that. And 100%, if you sat down and talked to any of us, you would be like, Sounds a lot like my situation yep. currently. Yep, absolutely. So just know that and, uh, you know, 
just just keep your eye on the prize. You know, if you're really passionate about it, it good. You know, work hard, good things will come. I'm a, a firm believer Absolutely. in that mentality. Absolutely. So, I love you guys. Hey! I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate all the support. All right. Take it easy.